Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full-time reseller. And this past weekend, my friend Michelle and I went to one yard sale that we found and a few thrift stores over in New Jersey. So here is a little snippet of the yard sale. So there was a lot of nice crystal at this yard sale. Sometimes it takes a little longer to identify certain pieces. I really should have picked that up though. That was a really nice butter dish. They had some some nice items here. This was a Mikasa vase. I should have checked that yellow bowl in the back, but I didn't. Crabtree and Evelyn can be decent. This stuff, I just decided to grab on a whim. That felt like an empty box. This Copco was missing the lid and had some condition issues, but I still kind of like the look of it. They had a pricing sheet here, but I'm not quite sure which pieces that was that was for. Wasn't real clear on that at all. It could have been this set. This was a set of dishes, but they were unmarked. No maker's marks. Again, lots of glassware. Here is a cutlery caddy. I was looking to see if there was any cutlery inside, but there was not. And then we have an arts and crafts table. Lots of scrapbooking stuff, which... And eh. then a little tiny bit of the thrifting. All right, so I saw this Disney F&B doll, Prince Charming. I thought maybe he was going to be worth something. Uh, you know, from Cinderella. I thought maybe he would be worth something, and... I put him in my cart just so I could check. And yeah, $21 with free shipping and that was a sold listing. So yeah, not really worth it. So this guy went back on the shelf. I always pick up these pottery pieces just to see if there's any studio marks or artist marks. They had a lot of this crackle glass, but it was really, really marked up. I wanted to see if some of it was Blanco. I thought maybe some of it was. Um, this one was marked, I think, Pilgrim. It was a Pilgrim. Uh, piece, but they were like seven ninety nine a piece. Even though everything was half off, it was still it was still too much for those little small ones. So this is a my unique thrift store, and the day we were here, everything was half off. I chose to do the voiceovers because uh, it was just really hard to talk with the with the mask on. I felt like everything was muffled. I do like that this store does a lot of the little grab bag type things, um, so that was kind of cool. This piece right here reminds me of Peggy Carr. She does a lot of this um, fused glass stuff. Um, a lot of times it doesn't even have markings, but you'll you know you'll see it on the box. But this one didn't have the box, but I decided to uh, put that in my cart anyway. It's kind of funny they had shelves dedicated to sunglasses and cases. Like normally those are shoved into a basket at most of the thrifts I go to. Still scoping out these grab bags. I don't know. that I call them grab bags. I guess they're really not because uh, aren't grab bags like mystery bags? Like you can't see what's in them. These you can see what's in them. It's a Polish glass ornament. $7.99. I probably would have grabbed that if it was a little cheaper. Even with half off, I didn't want to spend 
four dollars on it. Then I noticed this Fenton piece. Really nice, but at $24.99, not a lot of uh, meat on the bone. I mean, even at $12.50, it would have been $12.50 on sale. But that didn't leave enough room for a whole lot of profit on that piece. And now I'm going to show you what I bought at the yard sale and the three thrift stores that we went to. So this is the entire haul. All right. So at the yard sale, I did pick up the Crabtree and Evelyn set. Not really sure what that's going to go for. Uh, a set like this with all the mixed scents probably won't be like a crazy amount. Uh, but some Crabtree and Evelyn stuff can go for a really, really, really good price. A lot of the discontinued items and stuff. Uh, then I did pick up this, uh, let's see, hand and nail cream set. Again, probably not a whole lot. For some reason, these side flaps will not stay closed. And then the best piece that I picked up there, oh, and I paid, I did pay $2 a box for those. And the best thing I picked up there is this Ava Solo set. And I couldn't find anything on eBay that was exactly like this, but this, this set should do pretty darn well. So it is like a carafe with the drinking glasses and then it's got the um what is this thing the carafe cover that's what i was trying to trying to think of um so i think that this i think this is made in sweden but i could be wrong but this this set i paid ten dollars for and i think this should go somewhere between 80 and 100 i'm thinking uh so we'll see how that does so i was I was excited with that. Put it over here, out of my way. All right, and we have lots of bags crinkling because I have not unwrapped this stuff yet and I'm gonna do it right now. I almost forget what I bought because today is Tuesday and I bought this stuff on Saturday. So all of the thrift stores we went to were 50% off, everything in the stores. So let me pull out what I got here. All right, this, this I got for myself, not like I need another pug item, but this, maybe I will end up selling it, but this ended up being $2. It's a patriotic pug, Pugnacious, from Westland, Westland Gifts. Super cute. It's got a couple little marks around the face, but yeah, so I have tons of pug stuff. Tons of pug stuff around my house. Matches my Bernie. Then I got this grab bag of beads and stuff. This was $1.99, which made it 99 cents with half off. I wanna open it because I got it because I saw Jesse James beads in here. And these can sell pretty decently. So I'm not sure, I've seen them sell by the strands. I'm not sure about the little packs, but I figured for 99 cents for this bag, I am certainly going to take the chance. So I have four bags of them, four sealed packets, whatever you wanna call them. Then we have some stone beads. I'm not sure what the brand is on these. See if you guys can see them. They're kind of neat looking. And then we have some Beadsmith silver plated copper wire made in Germany. I can add that like a lot or something. And then they also had in here two little plastic, the bead monkey, check seed beads. And then the purple ones are also seed beads, I guess, but I'm not sure. So I might just throw those in there too. But I got, like I said, I did buy the, the set for the Jesse James beads. Hot Tango. Two of them say Hot Tango and two of them say Venus. Maybe I'll sell them by, by the style names. I don't know. 
All right, so then I grabbed this Disney. This is, um, this was $2. I'm trying to peel back the sticker here. It's a magical day. The 11th issue in the Visions of Enchantment. So it's from the Bradford Exchange. This is, um, why can't I think of it? The magic carpet one. Oh my God. I can't think of who this is. Who is this? Anyway, this was $2. No box or anything. Can't think of who it is. Can't think of the movie. I don't know what's wrong with me. All right, then another little grab bag here. 99 cents, it ended up being 50. This is just some vintage like pen refills. This one's actually coming out of the pack. I, I don't know, I don't even know, they could be dried up for all I know. I just figured that I would try them for 50 cents. This is Eversharp Astro Pressurized Astronaut Style Refill. <laughs> And this is Paper Mate. That's a much more familiar brand. Just refills for pens. So we'll see. I know some vintage pens and stuff can do well. All right, then I picked up a sack, just like a knit or crochet or whatever. You guys know I can't tell the difference. Uh, just a bag, a purse, black. It ended up being $5 after the discount. And it's in clean condition. And I can sell these, you know, for a decent amount. It's not terrible. I picked up this little Le Sport Sack bag. It's like something Skyline. I don't know what it is. I have to research this pattern. Le Sport Sack Nightlife by Sarah Schwartz. So I don't know, but this ended up being $3.99. So we'll see. Some some of sports sack can do really well too. I grabbed another, also for five dollars, uh, another sack bag. This one is red with a leather strap. It looks like it's in good, gently used. This one's definitely gently used, but it's it's in good condition. So I think that'll do okay. And then I got this Disney, Walt Disney World napkin holder. Ended up being $1.50 after the discount, but I'm not sure what this is from, what Disney character or movie or whatever. So if you guys know, let me know. I'm not sure, but it's got the Disney Park stickers on the bottom. It also has like a Pacific Enterprise or something. So I don't know, but we'll see. And then I picked this up for $1.50. It's a, uh, some kind of memory. And I don't think it's gonna sell for a lot, but I'm hoping to maybe get like eight to ten dollars out of it. It was a dollar fifty. I just decided to grab it and see. I tried to look it up, but I wasn't having much success with that. Alrighty. So I didn't grab a whole lot in the way of shoes that day because their prices were crazy. I think they had like thirty dollars on a pair of Crocs. A pair of Crocs. They were used Crocs. I was like, what? This place is crazy. So anyway, I did grab this pair of Merrells. They look like they're in pretty good condition, but they also have like a distressed look to them. So maybe I'm thinking the, the store might've thought they were kind of like shot and that's why they priced them a little bit lower. But I mean, if you look at the bottom, look at the soles, they're in good, they're in good condition. I mean, even like the stuff isn't worn off the inside or anything. So. These ended up being $5 and they are a size eight. And like I said, they are a little like, they're that like um, oil rubbed leather, which never looks like it's oil rubbed. It just looks kind of like distressed or whatever. I don't know if you guys can see that, but anyway. Then I 
picked up these Trotters. Ooh, I've sold this brand time and time again. These, these would probably sell for $25, $30. I paid five for them. And these are a large size. These are like a 12 wide. And that is definitely, yes, 12 wide. That's harder to come by. They're like a woven, woven kind of shoe. And like I said, I have sold that brand before. It is not a glamorous brand, but it is a decent selling brand. Okay, so I got another grab bag. I never find these at my local stores, but this has a couple of Josie Marin Argon Infinity Cream Oil things here. Uh, one's Intensive Cream. Oh, they're both. They're both the same. So I have to, I actually have to see if they're open. And I'm hoping that they're not. I don't know if they originally had a seal or not. I mean, they definitely both seem like they're full. I think they're both definitely full. Uh, but I know Josie Marin's stuff um, can be a little pricey. I used to use her argon oil, but I don't know. It kind of like, it would make me break out. But that was like the actual oil, so I don't know. All right, anyway, and then we have a finishing spray. Not really sure what that is. It's a little trial size. And this is some kind of volumizing mousse, which that's not gonna get sold. I just, you know what? It was $2.99, so it was $1.50. I basically picked it up for this Josie Marin stuff. So that is what will get sold. All right, then I grabbed four of these Time to celebrate Department 56 plates. They're like really nice for the holidays, like cookie dessert plates or whatever. I got four of them. They ended up being 75 cents a piece. Ooh. Like I said, this stuff is all still wrapped. And then I did grab a couple of Pier 1 pieces, which... Sometimes I don't like picking up single plates and stuff, but these are both the same pattern. So it's Etrusco. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, but I got a plate and a bowl. Plate ended up being 99 cents. Bowl ended up being 75 cents. So I have $1.75 into these two. I will sell them together and see how that goes. Then I got this uh, Pier 1 Elizabeth bowl which i've sold this pattern before i think i i don't even i'll have to check i might have some left i might have salad plates or something but i've like i said i've sold this pattern before it's different than that pattern but this was 250 and it's like a salad serving bowl i'm assuming so that should do okay yeah some fun pieces in this bag Oh, I do. Okay, so I got these um, little Doxy Dog uh, silicone ice ice cube trays. This is not going to sell for a lot of money by any means, but it's so cute. I just couldn't pass it up. I love these little dogs with the short legs. I mean, I don't have I don't have this particular type of dog, but some of my neighbors do. But isn't that cute? Ended up being 99 cents. I grabbed this also for 99 cents after the discount. This is a Lang and Wise, and I've sold a lot of their coffee mugs. Um, different artists do different things, but this is a little snowman figurine. So I figured for 99 cents, I would give him a little whirl. Uh, I got a lot of smalls. I really did. I got a lot of smalls this time around, but. It was just fun to kind of get out thrifting and explore some new stores and just, you know, see what they had. So then I got this, this was $2. I can't really find anything on this guy. So I'm not really sure, but it seems like it's leather. Oh yeah, it smells like leather. It's definitely leather. It's this cute little like change purse, I guess. And it's even got a little handle. It's got the tag. Sephiro. 
Sephiro Leatherwear. <laughs> I don't know. It looks... I don't know. It looks really cool, though. So it's like a little change purse. Look at that dog. It's Like I said, it's new with the tag. It's got the tag on it. You open it up, you can see the Sephiro thing right there. Zippered. The back, it's got this little dog. It was just cute enough and unique enough for me to pick up. So yeah, I got it. We'll see how he does. No idea. Another grab bag ended up being $1.50. I picked this up because there is a single, uh, and it's broken. I couldn't see the tip of it. It's a single Cutco knife, but these are supposed to have a lifetime warranty. So I'm not sure how that works. I might be able to get that tip fixed. We'll see what happens. And then this is just like some kind of junky kitchen knife that we don't want. Uh, all right, moving on. This is a stamping upset. Ended up being $1.50. I grabbed it because it was new. They're not even mounted. It's a Christmas, a Christmas set. Then I picked these up. It's Corel, it's the um, Callaway pattern, the Ivy, and these are like stone coasters. There's eight of them. So they ended up being $1.50. I think they'll do okay. They'll sell for like maybe $25 for the, for the eight. All right, guys, then help me out with these. No clue what these are, but again, they were different enough for me to want to pick them up. So two of these... They look like little rolling pins, kind of. And they are marked on the end, 2009 DMA, with a couple other letters and stuff. So maybe that'll help me identify them, but I don't know. So this is what they look like. And each letter wheel, like, spins. So yeah, and there's the end with the marking. No idea, but I got two of these for $1.50. No clue what they are. No clue. All right. Let's see here. Next bag. This is fun. I kind of forgot what I bought. Ooh. And of course I bagged this stuff myself, so I do a terrible bagging job. I just kind of throw everything in and pray. All right, so here is a Ray Dunn Warmth. Uh, it looks like an oil bottle and it was $2 after the discount. And then these ended up being $2.50. These are like the hard cork back placemats. These are Pimpernel uh, England. I usually do well with these. Sometimes they will sit for a while. Um, but these are all golf courses. I think they'll do okay. I was certainly willing to take a chance. All right, then I grabbed a swim bottom. This is from Hot Topic, so nothing super crazy, but I really like the, it's in good condition, and I really like the print. It's just like some skulls and roses, and I definitely think someone's going to buy that. Ooh. This guy's all taped up here. This, and I hope the tape doesn't take the paint off. This ended up being $1.25. I'm gonna take the tape off because it's annoying me. All right, so this little guy is marked on the bottom. It looks like Bembo, maybe, Okinawa. And he almost looks like he's a nesting kind of guy. But he's got coasters. Coasters inside. Little coasters, but they're... Co Ooh, geez. They're little coasters. <laughs> they're all going to fall out. Let's dump and see, see how many we have in here. They need to be cleaned up a little. We have 
we have six of them. Six. Can you see six? There's six. Ooh, I need to finish my coffee. So I don't know. He's like definitely vintage and just really cute. So give it a shot. This is uh, one of those Polish pottery. Looks like it could be like a soap dish. So I grabbed that for $1.25. I usually do well with the, the Polish pottery. And then I grabbed a couple of spoons. These are iced tea spoons and they are uh, Oneida. I'm not sure the exact pattern, but they ended up being $1.75. And there are five, six, seven. So it's an uneven number, but there's seven of them. And then I picked up this art glass ashtray. I thought it looked pretty cool. It ended up being $3. And I just liked it. So I picked that up. Alrighty. Ooh, see what's in this bag. All this kind of glassware. Okay, so in here I have a mug that is really cute and it looks like it has a pug on it and it's like kind of a Christmas mug because he's got some holly holly berries on his neck. I'm keeping this for myself. It was $1.25. I don't really need another coffee mug because my cabinets are like overflowing, but I bought it anyway. All right, so then I got a false graph wall pocket. I believe that this is in the April pattern. Uh, I still never checked those switch plates and I have to get those listed. But um, it's similar to T-Rose, but it's not T-Rose. And I believe that this is the April pattern. But I've never seen a wall pocket like this from false graph. So I thought that was interesting. It ended up being $1.75. They had two of these, but one had a crack. So I only bought, I only bought one. All right. Then I picked up these fish plates. I got one, two, three, four of them. And they ended up being $1.69. Cut that in half. Hmm, 85 cents, 85 cents a piece. And these usually do pretty well. I've sold those in the past. All right, and then the last bag. The last bag of randomness here. Ooh, I have a little bag inside a bag. Oh, those are the rest of the glasses. I bought these four glasses. They were 99 cents a piece. They're Winnie the Pooh little juice glasses. They're also marked Walt Disney Company. So I figured I would take a chance on those. I'm not gonna unwrap all of them, but they're like the different characters and stuff. So I'm gonna try for like maybe $30 on those, 25, 30. This needs a little TLC, but this ended up being $5 and it is a Pendleton backpack. So I've never seen a Pendleton backpack where, I mean, I haven't come across any, so I don't know what I'm gonna price this at. I have to do a little research. It's got a little bit of wear, but I figured for $5, not bad. Then I got this Sharif bag. This I paid $15 for. So this one I paid up for. It is in beautiful condition. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. Uh, Sharif, New York City, and it just, yeah, it looks really good. And some of these bags can go for a real decent amount. Oh, it opens on the bottom. It zippers on the bottom too. I don't know, that's just like decorative, I guess. So yeah, we'll see how that does. Nice, nice floral pattern. Okay, then I picked this up. This ended up being 250. It looked like Peggy Carr to me. And I will have to see if I can find this pattern, but Peggy Carr does a lot of these infused glass, infused glass. Is that what I'm looking for? Fused, not infused, fused. 
man, I am having trouble today. I'm like all over the place. Anyway, Peggy Carr does a lot of fused glass plates and bowls and they're always like, you know, decorative in some manner. So I thought that I would just take a chance on this because it definitely looks like Peggy Carr. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay, so then I grabbed a pair of, and their clothes were so expensive, uh, but then certain things were cheaper. So these ended up being $3.99. These are Rock, Rock Revival Olivia, size 28. They're like a skinny. I have to look that particular style up, but at $3.99, I figured I would grab them. Rock Revival usually sells pretty well. I also picked up a pair of Miss Me jeans, which I mean, definitely they're not what they were several years ago. It was like total Miss Me craze a couple of years ago. And they would sell really, really well, you know, 60, 70, $80. Not the case anymore, but they were $3.99. So I couldn't, couldn't leave them. Oh no, they weren't, not these. These were $4.99, $5 after discount. But I still couldn't leave them. They have like this nice angel wing design on the back. And uh, yeah, I think they'll still do, I think they'll still do okay. And lastly, I grabbed this Hawaiian shirt because it was just cool. It was just weird. Uh, Waikiki Creations, or Waikiki Creations, it ended up being $3.99. And look at the print. It's just got a wild print. It's like, I guess that's like, is that Santa Claus? It's got like reindeer and and they're like surfing and stuff. I don't know. It's just got like really a really unique design. So I decided to go for it and see how it sells. So yeah, that is the haul. I had a lot of fun shopping. Um, can't wait to get back out this weekend. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I noticed my camera has moved. I tried to have it pointing down more and I realized that it's moved throughout this video somehow. So sorry about that. Hope you guys saw all the- All right guys, so that's gonna wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.